you've um, talked about electric planes, uh, a greener industry. Um, is that a realistic possibility? Absolutely. Electric Absolutely. planes? Absolutely. And i, I got to say that, you know, I can't take the credit on this. This was something that the, the company was interested in and was early on. You know, um, here in in back in I think it was 2015 uh, that they, uh, you know, the company made this uh, this uh, cooperation with Wright Electric, which is a U.S. Uh, uh, company based on that. But this has been close to me for 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 many years, and I think um, when I joined the company in 2017, and I started talking about these because I read up well on the subjects because I I'm also you know quite passionate about uh, about these ideas. You. You, you could see that, look, whether that was electric or it was hydrogen, you know, there's a definitely a case here that at some point in time, you're going to see that you're going to have zero emissions aircrafts available at a larger scale that can carry 100 plus passengers. So when I went on to panels across Europe then with with um, people who are skeptical about these things and people who are, you know, anti-aviation in general uh, mm-hmm. for various reasons. And, and I always went into those those meetings and those panels because I, I do think, well, you always learn something, by the way, and, and it kind of sharpens your arguments as well. You know, people thought that, well, you know, you, you're crazy. This will never work. Today, nobody's arguing that. Because what people tend to forget when they're looking at the, the development of technology, and we're talking about groundbreaking technology here, the, the, the development isn't linear. You know, it's mm-hmm. exponential. If you're looking at the capacity of the latest, um, you know, lithium sulfur batteries versus the, you know, kind of lithium um, fuel cells or, or lithium uh, ion batteries, it, 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 that generation of batteries, if that has the same trajectory, in capacity and development in the next 10 years as the old generation had last 10 years, the battery capacity is not going to be an issue by 2030. Mm. Hydrogen, as, as an example, it's a proven technology. We, we, we know there are, you know, issues around that when it comes to the storage and, and you know, uh, and its complexity and, and its heavy tanks, you need to have them at this moment in time. But even today, there are aircraft flying around that are fully electric. So that's not the issue. The issue is that what is the business model going to look like? How are you going to transition your fleet? Mm. And how and and what incentives can you look upon from governments to help that transition to happen? Mm. Uh, because that's one of the, the arguments that, that I, I, I'm bringing forward now. And I'm, 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 I'm taking up the chairman role of, of Airlines for Europe right now. And, and a lot of that time goes on with speaking to the commission and decision makers to say that, look, you need to have a framework in place that is not only penalizing, there needs to be also an incentive in here to help that transition happen.